So the crypto market is dumping. We're down near almost hitting the 200 weekly moving average. And uh, all altcoins are down. I mean, we just go over here to CoinPix to see. I mean, look, you've got Ethereum under 1300 bucks, Binance 223, ADA 45 cents. Things aren't looking that great. But there's something else that's going on behind the scenes. See, as the crypto market goes down, these crypto companies, they're not doing that well. So before we get, get, like, get into it, guys, smack the likes, smack the subscribes, and you know we are powered by. And what do I mean they're not doing well? Well, guys, there's been a lot of um, rumors, a lot of FUD, which now is kind of turning to not be FUD, it's actually real information, coming from Celsius. If you guys are unaware what Celsius is, it is a lending platform where first where you can earn some pretty good interest on your crypto, you can get loans, and I think you can do a little bit more there as well. Very similar to BlockFi, very similar to Nexo. So scroll down here, guys, they put out, you know, today, a memo to the Celsius community. Guys, this isn't just the Celsius community, guys. This memo should be to anybody out there that has a large sums on any of these third party, um, like centralized DeFi platforms where you're getting crazy interest rates, where you're getting loans out. Just be careful. So starting off, it says, uh, due to extreme market conditions, today we are announcing that Celsius is pausing all withdrawals all swaps and all transfers between accounts. We are taking this action today to put Celsius in a better position to honor over time its withdrawal obligations. Guys, I don't know about you, but I think the scariest thing when you have a large sum of crypto on an exchange or on a platform like Celsius, when you see that you're not allowed to withdraw your crypto, that's insane. We understand there's this saying in crypto, not your keys, not my crypto. But guess what? People don't actually understand it until it happens. And unfortunately, I hate to say it at the moment while people are down, this is a great moment for that. A great moment to educate yourself on how to have self-custody. Educate yourself. Go get yourself a hardware wallet, ledger, Trezor, whatever you want, guys. There's there's a lot out there now. Um, compared to back in the day, there was basically just two. There, there's a lot more now. Um, but you should definitely ed like educate yourself on that and just be aware, guys. This is insane. I think it's insane that that the, like they're doing this so that Celsius can hopefully in the future honor over time we don't know how long that would be what's it going to be a year or two how, like how long is that going to be allow you to withdraw because they always said they had instant withdrawals um not anymore but continuing on guys acting in the interest of our community is it, it, like it is our top priority in service of that um in service of that commitment and to adhere to our risk management framework we have activated a clause in the term of use that will allow for this process to take place Celsius has valuable assets and we are working diligently to meet our obligations. So guys, obviously Celsius doesn't want to actually do this, but they have to, because I know they're having some issue with the, like their state ETH, um, the ST ETH, they're having some issues with that. Basically, they're losing money. Um, but the point though, is that just like with Coinbase's updated quarterly like, like report, Coinbase said if they went bankrupt, your assets on Coinbase would go towards the bankruptcy you lose your assets. So guys, it's it's the same thing here, guys, the TOS, the term, the term of use, it's kind, of, it's kind of insane, it's kind of disgusting that they have your assets are considered their assets when it's on there, but that's why the saying goes, not your keys, keys not your crypto. Continuing on, we are, t we are taking this uh, necessary action for the benefit of our entire community in order to stabilize liquidity and operations while we take steps to preserve and protect assets. Guys, I, I just wanna say, I hope it works out. I hope that Celsius is truly doing this to prevent them going under. I hope they're truly doing this so maybe in a month from now, you are allowed to withdraw your crypto or you're allowed to do whatever, like basically you have access to your crypto. I, I hope they're right. I hope they're doing the right thing. I hope it's working out. But as of right now, it's definitely stressful because there's a lot of unknowns. Um, it says, furthermore, customers will continue to accure rewards during the pause in line with our commitment to our customers. I don't think um, anybody cares about earning their rewards right now. If I had money on Celsius, I wouldn't care about my rewards. I'd be like, can I just get my crypto out of here? I don't care about my prints. I, I, I don't care about earning a percentage per monthly or, or weekly or whatever it is there. I just want my crypto. Um, I don't think anybody really cares about that. Uh, we understand that this news is difficult, well, of course, but we believe that our decision to pause withdrawals, swap, and transfers between accounts is the most responsible action we can take to protect our community. Guys, to protect by like, protect their business. That, that's what they have to do. We, we're working with a, a singular focus to protect and preserve assets to meet our obligations to customers. Our ultimate objective is stabilizing liquidity and restoring withdrawals. 
swap and transfers between accounts as quickly as possible. There's a lot of work ahead of, as we consider various options. This process will take time and there may be delays. It just says, we thank the incredible Celsius community for your support today. It is our pleasure to serve you. Oh yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure people love that. Our operations continue and we'll, and we'll continue to share information with the community as it becomes available. Guys, I just wanna say, like I said again, I hope this does work out. I hope they're just pausing it to, like, to get stuff out there. I would say if you have stuff on there, as soon as you have access to withdraw it, I would get that crypto out of there like there's like drop whatever you're doing i don't care if you're cooking just stop drop and go withdraw your crypto because it could happen again um it could happen again like 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 this is scary because think about BlockFi guys it could happen to BlockFi. it could happen to nexos i mean something like this could like even happen to a smaller exchange like you got to be careful especially like the ones that are offering some crazy apy or apr like what like whatever they label it um like for your coins. So just be careful. But guys, seriously, learn how to self custody. We have we have we, we have a video on the channel how to how to set up a MetaMask. Learn how to use a hardware wallet. Guys, I do re like recommend the Ledger products. And e even if you don't want to buy one, you go on their website. There like there is an affiliate link down below. You go to they have learn right here. Guys, you don't even have to buy anything. They have enough information here in their learn through the Ledger Academy. They got their live sessions, their podcasts and like and stuff like that all throughout there just to learn how to use a ledger or basically, I mean, any uh, like other device as well. Of course, other devices will be slightly different, but the whole process of the whole how to take security series is there and you'll learn how to do it. And I think that is something people should be like like made aware of. So at least if you educate yourself, how, like, like, how, like how to set up a private key properly, how, or I guess I should say how to set up a wallet properly and storing the private key properly, then uh, you'll probably be good and you ho like hopefully won't have these issues. But yeah, I mean, I, it, it like it, it sucks. I mean, crypto's down. You know, Bitcoin's at what twenty three k. You know, Ethereum's twelve hundred. And this happens, guys. I hope uh, no, like no like nobody watching is affected by this. Hopefully, we like we can just keep this um, as a learning opportunity. Hey, watch out. I mean, we had Luna slash UST rug. Um, I mean, we got now the Celsius. I mean, it's kind of like you know what is next because personally, I don't believe we have bottomed. If we go over here to Bitcoin, I mean, like historically, we usually bottom at that yellow line, which is around the 200 weekly moving average. And thus far, I mean, yeah, we're at 23.2 right now, and the yellow line is at uh, 22.3. So yeah, we still got some time to go down. In my humble opinion, I do believe that's most likely going to happen, even though, I mean, if you go over here, everything is down. I mean, there's like nothing up. Uh, I mean, you got a few things, but basically stables are the ones that are like looking good. Aidcoin down to 330. Yeah, of course, like Nexo's down as well. Ave. Like the thing is, though, so yeah, BlockFi, Celsius, and Nexo. Nexo is a coin. Um, Celsius is a coin, but BlockFi does not. So that, that like, that is interesting. Um, a lot of great bond opportunities, but I still think we're going to see a uh, further dip and we'll go from there. But you guys, let, like, let me know your thoughts about this whole Celsius situation. Do you think they're going to come back? You know, they're just doing this to truly protect the community. They, they, like they did this ahead of time to protect people. Or is this like a slow rug? It's going to go under. Let me know your thoughts. And are you guys buying now? Or are you guys waiting for us to hit that 200 weekly moving average? Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great day. I know it can be stressful out there, like with the markets going down, it can really affect your health. So guys, like if you have to, you got you got to do what you do. Hit the gym, go for a walk, go for a run, go hike or something. I don't know, just do whatever works for you. Go like go meditate, read, like read a book, hang out with some like some homies or something. But uh, but but yeah, guys, like until next time, smack the likes, smack the subscribes, and uh, may the gains be with you.